Chapter 33, American Fort Oswegatchie. American Fort Oswegatchie was begun but never completed. Franklin B. Huff, M.D., in his History of St. Lawrence in Franklin Counties, 1853, describing the Battle of Ogdensburg, fought February 22, 1813, said, Below the town and not far from the present brewery, Crichton's, was an unfinished redoubt, which had been commenced toward the close of the season previous, but which was at that time not occupied or defended. It had been commenced under the orders of General Brown and was planned by Monsieur Ramé, a French engineer, who had been in the service of Bonaparte and was to have been quadrangular in form and bore the name of Fort Aswagachi. Huff quoted from the Palladium, Volume 2, Number 45, November 10, 1812. The troops stationed here have been employed since last Thursday, November 5th, in building a fort. It progresses pretty fast, considering the number of men employed. It is believed, however, that it will not be finished before winter sets in. The plan of the fort, we understand, was the production of Mr. Ramé, a French gentleman who resides in the village. Jean-Jacques Joseph Ramé, famous French architect, was employed in 1811-1812 by David Parrish, the wealthiest man in northern New York, to plan the interior decorations in Parrish's new mansion and the landscaping of the grounds. The Parrish mansion was built in 1809-1810 in Ogdensburg and now is the Remington Art Museum. Fort Aswagachi was on Parrish's land in the block bounded by Water, Gertrude, Washington, and Elizabeth Streets in Ogdensburg. Water Street now is Riverside Avenue and the Crescent, and Gertrude Street is Franklin Street.